Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform our viewers about virtualization and virtualization technology. Tonight's video presentation is going to be on using the SCP command. Now, in a video a few days ago, we mentioned the SCP command. The video was setting up an open VPN server in an LXC or Linux container. Now, we left that video off with creating a file called test.ovpn. Now, that file was then mentioned that you could use SCP or any other file transfer method that you would like to move that to your client system. Well, tonight I have set up a virtualized machine using VBox of Ubuntu Desktop. We're going to move that test dot ovpn file to our client system using scp so we want to make sure the open ssh server package is installed on our container or host system that we wish to transfer the file from using scp scp stands for secure copy paste and it uses SSH protocol or the SSH system to copy and paste files from a host system to a client system. So it relies on the open SSH server software just as SSH would. So to install open SSH server on our container or other server, we're going to use the command apt install open ssh dash server space dash y. Now when we press enter here, we already have it installed because we've already done a few videos with this container. But you'll see it'll begin the installation process. In my case, it reaches out and determines the version of open ssh server that I have installed is the most up-to-date version and it doesn't need updates. Now, if we were to go and run an ls on our root directory, you can see the file, the test.ovpn file that we created in the open VPN video. Now this file is not the only file you can use SCP to copy and paste, but it is the file we will be using today as this is building upon that video that we made. So we're going to then move it to a user account that we can actually work with. As default, OpenSSH or SSH will not allow us to access the system as root. And right now we're using this container as root. So you need to use the command add user and then the name. Now, when I press enter, I'm going to get told that the users already exist because we've already created this user. There you go. But I do still need to move this test.ovpn file to the home directory of this user so that I do not have to unlock the root file privileges to that account. In order to do that, I can use the command cp and I can enter test dot o v p n space and the path that I would like the file to be transferred to or copied to. In my case, it's going to be home slash v e. Now when I press enter, the file is copied to that location. We can double check to see if the file is indeed in home slash v e by entering ls space slash home slash ve and we can see indeed the test.ovpn file has been copied to its new location. Now that we have this in an easy to use location for ovpn, we can go ahead and run the scp command. Now as you can see, I've already done this once testing to make sure everything went off in the video. Now. I have deleted the file, so it is not here, and we will see it appear in a minute. So now, if we were to press the up arrow, in your case, you're going to type this. 
SCP space the username to the account that we would like to connect to the server on, the at symbol, the IP address of the server, which if we enter IP address down here, we can see that 10.10.2.190 is indeed the IP address to the server we're working with, a colon to denote the server, the address to the file we want, in our case it's going to be slash home slash ve slash test ovpn, a space, and then the path to where we would like to store the file. In our case, with this VM, it's going to be slash home slash VE. Now, when we press enter, SCP will ask us for the password. The password we enter is the password to the user account to the server we're working with. And you can see there that the file is copied from the server to the home slash VE directory on this Ubuntu system. I hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation on using the SCP command and find it useful for copying and moving files around between your Linux systems. If you did, or you would just like to support Virtualize Everything in their endeavors to help educate their viewers about virtualization and virtualization technology or other useful things around the world of home labs, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Also, if you have video ideas that you would like to see made, consider dropping them in the comments section. As always, have a good night.